Instant runoff voting. Majority winners. Majority. Merriam-Webster defines it as a number or percentage equaling more than half the total number. A majority of voters. We've seen the flyers that talk about how instant runoff voting works. In this particular case, they talk about is there a majority and yes, they would declare a winner and majority winners without the need for low turnout expensive runoff elections. This one from San Francisco touts that ranked choice voting ensures majority rule. Their website leads you through an example where the candidate would surpass the 50% mark before they are elected. So what is a majority? You would expect that if 10,000 voters came out to vote, that majority support would be 5,001 votes would be needed to win. 10,000 voters came out to exercise their constitutional right a majority would be 50% plus one vote. That's 5,001 votes. This brochure from Aspen, Colorado's instant runoff voting shows that the council candidate must have 50% plus one vote of the votes cast in order to win. But let's take a look at what really happened that day. 2,544 people showed up at the polls that day and cast valid ballots. 1,273 votes are needed to win. That's the winning threshold. In actuality, Derek Johnson won with only 1,233 votes and Tory won with 1,073 votes, shy of the 50%. You can see here that Tory won with 42.75% support that day. And Johnson won with a little over 49% support of the voters that showed up at the polls that day. Maybe that's why Aspen is asking its voters whether they, they want to scrap the instant runoff voting system altogether because of this and a host of other problems they experienced with the past election. Moving on to Vermont, they show that the majority winning threshold was 4,491 votes. But in actuality, they elected their mayor with less than the majority, 4,313 votes. So for all the promises that instant runoff voting would provide a majority winner, Bob Kiss was elected with just 48% support. Moving on to Pierce County, we had Dale Washam elected with only 37% support of the voters that showed up to vote that day for county assessor and treasurer. Maybe that's why Pierce County has an instant runoff voting repeal ordinance on their ballot this November. It states, whereas IRV was first used in Pierce County during the November 2008 general election and, whereas the cost of running the IRV portion of the 2008 general election was $1,692,663.50, whereas the portion of the 2008 general election provided to be expensive, complicated, and confusing, and the results of the IRV races were not available until weeks following the election date, and whereas 66% of the 90,738 voters responding to the auditor's survey indicated that they did not like IRV. This is the actual language of the repeal ordinance put out by Pierce County, Washington. Now, San Francisco has used ranked choice voting for several elections, and Ed Jew was elected with a little over 42% of the vote. But two months after being elected, he was found to not even live in the district, and that's illegal in San Francisco. Had it been a normal runoff election, with some scrutiny from the press and from his opposition and some debates, they would have found out that he didn't live in the district. That type of scrutiny is not found in instant runoff voting in these shotgun style elections. Finally, in an election to show people how ranked choice voting works, an ironically named group Majority Rules, 265 people came to cast votes, which means 133 is the majority. But the winner actually only received 128 votes. That's shy of a majority. 48.3% of the people that showed up at the polls that night. 
So let's review majority rules. Of the 11 instant runoff voting races in San Francisco, only one produced the majority winner. And in Burlington, Aspen, and Pierce County, they all failed to produce a majority winner. Even the majority rules mock RCV election did not provide a majority winner. Aspen, Colorado, and Pierce County are voting to scrap instant runoff voting in November 09. So don't be fooled. When we're talking about a majority, we're talking about 50% plus one of the people who showed up to vote that day. And instant runoff voting does not deliver on that promise.